this is Shweta. My name is Inder and you guys are watching Shwa Vlog International. Welcome to your channel. It's time for Lucifer Season 1 Episode 3. Three. Without, without wasting any time, let's watch it. Jump. Trust me, it's a warm welcome. But won't it hurt? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Oh, God! Everyone's here to see you. What's the worst that could happen? Come on, have one drink with me. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. I'm just, I'm not in the mood to party, all right? How can you decline this ravishing siren's invitation to imbibe? Uh oh. <laughs> well, if LA's taught me anything, constant rejections do build character. I sincerely doubt constant rejection's something you ever deal with. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two from this guy. Oh. Witty, charming, and wise. Have you lost your mind? Do I know you? Lucifer. Morning, sir. Yeah, I'm Grant's famous. <laughs> yeah, I don't need anything from you. Oh, I beg to differ, Ty. I have been looking for you all night, and you are in desperate need of my help. Star quarterback, number one draft pick, and yet for some inexplicable reason, a virgin. Look, man, I got all the haters I need online, all right? No, 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 no. I'm not criticizing. I'm fascinated. I mean, do you know how rare you are? A celebrity virgin in Los Angeles and surrounded by temptation. I mean, you, Ty, are like a four-leaf clover and a unicorn made a baby without you know, having sex. Oh, thanks, I appreciate it. My agent wanted me to throw this part. Yeah, he wants me to loosen up. He's right. I've met your type before, so desperate to control their lives they forget to enjoy it. So answer me this. If you were to let her, you know, let go. What is it you'd really want to do? I want to skip my morning workout sometimes. Boring? Just chill on the couch and watch Master Chef. This is the fantasy life of a postmenopausal housewife. Come on, Ty. There must be something deeper. I, uh. Yeah. I want to get laid so damn bad. <laughs> and there it is. You got no idea how hard it is holding out for parents, man. Uncomfortably hard, I'm sure. <laughs> I was going to with my girl, but we broke up. No. Oh, I thought she was going to be the mother of my children. Well, she wants to be the mother of your children. Come on, Ty, it's the fourth quarter, but you can still win this game. I mean, look at her. Death and taxes are less of a short thing. No, I can't. But you desire her. Why fight it? Because my mother taught me oh, that. No, don't, always... don't bring her into this. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's about you. What do you want? Huh? Well, then carpe diem, my friend. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Lucifer, morning star. Seriously? Yes, yes. I'm the devil. Hope you hold it against me. Lucifer, morning star. The guy who owns Lux? That's me. No, it's not. I've seen him before. His beats are sick. I very much oh. beg your pardon. Beats. Yeah, he performed at a rap battle last week in the valley. Every single part of that sentence horrifies me. It is so gross that you're pretending to be someone you're not. <laughs> oh, your accent is weak. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Something really bad happened. Well, I hope you enjoyed every minute of it. No, 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 you don't understand. Look, I'm freaking out, okay? Can you just help me, please? I need that favor. Right. Mommy, did Daddy forget to pick me up? No, Monkey, I'm sure he's just stuck in traffic. 
Are you doing homework? Hmm. Mm, sort of. Sort of. I saw Lucifer do some things that I can't explain. Is Lucifer a magician? That's sort of what I'm trying to figure out. When Daddy gets here, maybe he can help. Mm. Sometimes Daddy helps me with my homework. I'm not sure if Daddy has the answers to these questions. Why don't you just ask Lucifer? Because if he's a magician, then he won't reveal his secrets. So I have to find out on my own how Lucifer does these things that I can't explain. Well, that can't be him. Decker. Lucifer, how did you even get this number? Thanks for being super cryptic in a really unhelpful way. What's the emergency? Well, it's, it's better to show and tell, really. Contusions on the neck. Signs of strangulation. So what happened? Um, well, I woke up early. It's my head hurt. Yeah. I had a hangover. I, I've never drank before, so. That's on me. Sorry. Yeah, so I came down to get some water, and that's that's when I saw her in the pool. Did you know her? Not before last night. I talked to her for a little bit. Her name was uh, Allie, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm having a hard time remembering. You think she accidentally slipped, fell in the pool, and drowned? No, I think she was murdered. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Detective Deck is a homicide detective. She's been very helpful in the other murders that I've encountered. <laughs> I am not your personal police concierge. You are going to find out who did this, aren't you? Of course I am, because that's my job, not right. because you want me to. Uh, no, but they asked me to get the, the guest list. 250 guests, you know what that means. Great party. 250 suspects. Oh, well, I'd be careful with that thing in the guest bedroom. It's a good chance to go blind. Ping, you forget that my expertise is finding the right people to punish, Detective. It's what I do, or did, at least. You want to do something? Then help account for everyone who was at the party. Oh. The coroner puts the time of death between 1 and 3 a.m. Actually, is there someone who can vouch for your whereabouts at the time? Several someones, in fact. Yeah. Get them to tell you every little detail, just to make sure that I'm not lying. I'll have someone else handle that. <laughs> so, bona fide killer on the loose who needs to be punished. Time to punch in. There she is. Do you want to look suspicious? Well, where do we start, Detective? I mean, look at those big soulless bastards. Give even me the creeps. I... You need to sit with the witnesses. Haven't I proven myself extremely useful at detectiving? Actually, no. I don't need your help color commentating. I need facts and hard evidence. So unless you can help me with either, stay. But I don't want to be stuck out here with these miscreants. These are your people. Detective! <laughs> oh. This won't do at all. Hey. I heard all hands on deck. I came as quick as I could. Yeah, and on time. Look, Chloe, I'm sorry about it earlier, okay? I got held up at an arrest in Hollywood. I couldn't get away. I get it, Dan. Save the apologies for Trixie. This is work, and right now we have a victim with no fingerprints on the file. These all the unclaimed items from the party? Yeah, I checked everything. Unfortunately, no ID that matches our victim. So what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking our victim wore a cute red dress. There's no way she'd have that pink clutch. She was out to have fun. So that Nyx is anything big and bulky like a D. Classy. I'm not looking for an ID. I'm looking for a car. Allie Thornton, 23, from Boise, Idaho. Her info matches the registration we found in the glove box. She was a long way from home. What were you doing here, Allie? I'll see what I can find on her. Detectives found something in the master bedroom. Found this here in the bed, and it matches the missing fingernail of the victim. Isn't this tight? Well, since you banished me outside with the lepers, I decided to make myself useful. Do you call watching porn on your phone useful? This isn't my phone, detective. I think it's our recently departed.
Where did you get this? Just heard a ringy ding and followed the noise. Now, let's delete the little no. rubbish bin. We can't delete anything on this phone. But it shows Ty and Ali having sex. It's very distracting. Right. Oh, you've reached the money shot. Are you taping this? Where are you going? Oh. Detective, you're making a mistake. Stay out of this, Lucifer. Cough him. Wait, what? Ty Huntley, you're under arrest for the murder of Valley Thornton. This is ridiculous. Lucifer, this is all your fault. I wish I'd never met you. Because of him. I don't think they like hired that. Yeah. Trust me, detective. I have been doing this a long time. I know... How are you so sure? What desire would Ty have to kill a girl giving him a wonderful time? Ty had a squeaky clean image. He sleeps with a girl. Then he finds out she's taping him. She's going to ruin everything. He gets angry and loses control. You saw the video. The only thing that that video proves is that Ty had sex. He was horny, not murderous. Mm -hmm. Then why would he lie about it? Blame the tequila. He had motive and opportunity. <sighs> Look, I just want to make sure that you're punishing the right person. I will. That's what I do. Lovely. We want the same thing. And there's something else on the phone that you should look into. No more porn. I'm good. No, it's not that. We should look into we, it. We, as in the LAPD, will look into it. You can go now. That was the LAPD. Oh! It's Detective Decker calling to apologize. Unless it involves lingerie, I don't accept. Hmm. Financial investigations unit. You know. Budget hut and Tarzana last night. I'd rather return to the fires of hell than spend a night in Tarzana. Well, and then someone with your name and credit card skipped out on a $2,000 tab. A zany wing. <laughs> Do I look like I'd eat a zany wing? Someone is clearly masquerading as me. Rap battles and hot wings. You need to find this cheap knockoff and make him suffer. Do you understand? Why? You said it yourself. Humans are fascinating, right? I can't wait to see what this one does next. Zany wins. <laughs> it's not right. I mean, budget huts and zany wings. I mean, this malfessant reprobate is diluting the Lucifer brand. Finally, I'll get my father's beef with graven images. Sounds like this guy's really gotten under your skin. Typical in a town full of charlatans. So this is a place built on lies where nothing is authentic or genuine. You don't even have to be famous to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You can just buy one. Are we still talking about the imposter? Yes. The tear him limb from limb. Is it possible you might be overreacting a bit? No. How would you feel if some off-the-rack imposter was dragging your name through the trenches of Encino? <laughs> Someone stole my identity a few years back, and after a few long calls to the IRS and the bank, everything was fine. <coughs> no big deal. I'm me, and this is a, a travesty. But your reaction, your anger toward this minor inconvenience feels a little disproportionate to the crime. There might be some displacement. I'll show you displacement when I displace these bollocks and throw them on the floor and stamp on them one at a time. Uh, why don't you tell me again about this case you were working on? Huh. Nothing more to say. The girl was killed and Detective Deck is going after the wrong person. And that doesn't bother you? Well, why should it? Well, because from everything you've told me, it sounds like Ty probably had nothing to do with this murder. That he got himself into, or someone helped him into a bad situation. And that bothers you. Yes. Why? Because I punished the guilty, and Ty's not guilty. I'm here to see Ty Huntley's agent, Joe Hanson. Sorry, without an appointment. <laughs> Let me get this right. Your clients do all the work, yet you chaps make all the money. Really? And they call me the devil. <laughs> if ever I return to hell, you kids will be my first call. <laughs> Especially you. Oh, one last thing before I go. Which one of you is into killing attractive redheads? Lucifer. Detective! A word. 
Michael. What the hell do you think you're doing? Finding and punishing Ali Thornton's actual killer. How did you know to come to this agency? I tried to tell you, detective, on the dead girl's phone. She called here. And your cards. And you're welcome. I also found out that the call was transferred to Ty's agent, Joe Hansen. Right, so why did the dead girl even know Ty's agent? I mean, she was Ty's one-night stand. It hardly makes sense. Well, that's what I'm here to find out, and that's why you can go now. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, the fact that you think I'm going to go. It's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Lucifer, I don't need your help. I'm not trying to solve this for you. I'm ensuring that the right person is held responsible. Look, come on. I've been helpful before, haven't I, detective? You step out of line one time. You can give me a right good spanking, I promise. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ty wouldn't do something like this. He's such a good kid. I'm actually more curious about you, Mr. Hanson. Me? Why? I didn't even go to the party. I had to work. You spoke to the victim a few hours before she was killed. Maybe it's best if I don't say anything without my attorney. Joey! Joe, Joe, there's no need for that. Why don't you tell me what you really want? Hmm? What desires drive a man such as yourself? I want to be the greatest agent of all time. Really? And to do that, I need to protect my clients. Ty, tell us what you know. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you everything, you look into something. Here's the deal, you tell us everything and I don't cuff you in front of your coworkers and take you in. I know how this goes. Allie's a young actress looking for a break. An agent promises to help her out in exchange. She's treated like a party favor to your star clients. Okay, okay. I did call Allie. I hired her to have sex with Ty. Wow, seems I wasn't the only one who wanted the young virgin to loosen up. No, I love the virgin angle. It's a clean hook. Got him a lot of attention. But Ty was a mess. I needed him to get over his ex. Why? She. Popular boy, this Ty, isn't it? So, what, this anger his ex or something? No. It's from his ex, Deborah McCall. She left this behind one of the many times she came here trying to find him. She used to call all the time, try to get a hold of him. So he dated a crazy fan? He didn't know it at the beginning. So when I figured it out, he had already fallen for her. I suppose I can understand why. <laughs> she, after a while, never got possessive, controlling. She thought she was managing them. So I told Ty he needed to break up with her. He refused. I made Ty file a restraining order after she broke a girl's nose just for buying him a mojito. Quite a hair trigger on this, Deborah, by the That Ty was with that poor girl. Okay. Inclined. <laughs> Apart from the whole Noah thing, that was a one-off. Anyhow, her roommate confirmed that she took the 4 p.m. class, so Ty's ex should be out any second now. I told you you had the wrong man. Wrong gender as well, apparently. Finally, we're getting warmer. Why are you so hell-bent on proving Ty's not the killer? Like I've been saying, I want to punish the real killer. But why? Is it because you pushed him towards Ali at the party? Well, I don't see what that has to do with anything. And I think you're starting to agree with me, otherwise you wouldn't be here, would you? There she is. Deborah McCall of Detective Decker, LAPD. We need to ask you a few questions about Ty Huntley. I've got nothing to say. It's either here or down at the station. Leave me alone. Deborah. <laughs> Warmer. in the area get facial IDs on anyone in a hundred block radius. You couldn't live with yourself for committing murder, so you set your car to explode, didn't you? Hey, you wanted to go out in a blaze of glory. Of course not. Murder, what are you talking about? Oh, come on. The bomb was triggered remotely. Whoever set it off did it before you got to the car. There was a clear line of sight. I don't think the plan was to kill you. I think they wanted to scare you. So, you know of any reason why someone would want to do that? No. Because why did you run, Deborah? Awfully guilty looking. I thought you were going to bust me for violating my restraining order. I went to Ty's party last night. No, I, I just, 
I just looked from outside through the window. I couldn't help but I miss him. Yeah, it's breaking up so hard, isn't it? You're like two pathetic peas in a pod. Yeah, we are made for each other. As good as he is at football, that's how good I am at being his girlfriend. You mean ex-girlfriend? Yeah, we never stay broken up. It's just a phase. You no know, one looks out for him the way that I do. And then I saw him kissing that girl and I... Squeeze the life out of her. No. Where were you between 1 and 3 a.m. this morning? The only place that always makes me feel better. Let's go on. Three hours. <laughs> it's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Yep. All night for your shop puts Deborah there well past the time of the victim's death. Her alibi checks out. So Deborah didn't strangle Allie. But whoever planted the bomb went to great lengths to make us think Deborah did it. Why? I don't know. We might actually know who rigged the car. This can't be a coincidence. Someone must have hired her for this. I've been trying to build a case on her for years, and every time we've approached her, she's lawyered up immediately. Ronnie is a pro. So how do we approach her? She's picky about talking to strangers. Definitely no cops. What about someone she'd never expect us to work with? Just trust me, I can work that into any sentence quite naturally. You sure this is a good idea? Lucifer reached out to her and she agreed to meet him, so it's our best shot. And you won't need a code word. And you won't be mic'd because she'll be looking for that. This is a simple handoff. All we need you to do is vouch for Dan as someone that needs her services. Vouch? A detective douche? Oh, gosh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Once I engage with her, I will hire her to fix a problem of mine. Right. Well, if it's that stick up your ass, I'm afraid there's no one strong enough to pull that out. She goes there to fix my problem. Our people will be waiting to arrest her. And then we'll have leverage to find out what she knows about Ali's murder. She has information we need, so let's just stick to the plan. Assuming, of course, Ronnie hasn't run off because our sting suddenly turned into a Michael Bublé concert. Lucifer, this isn't a game. Oh. Now, are you up for this or not? Am I up for encouraging someone to commit a nefarious act? Mm, let me think. Put me in, coach. <laughs> She's here. Okay, great. Here we go. Ronnie Hillman, problem solver extraordinaire. <laughs> you checking for a wire, are you just pleased to see me? A little bit of both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Morningstar. Rest assured, I can help you with your problem. Well, actually, I don't need your help. I... Wait, what do you think my problem is? Imposter, running around, ruining your name? Your professional reputation has taken a bit of a dive. As has your sexual one, I'm afraid. Well, that is the reason you reached out to me, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it very much is. I do have a problem that could use your help. I am all yours. Oh, well, I like you, monkey bottoms. <laughs> Here's what I need you to do. Hey, Dan, what's going on? I don't know. I'm still talking. Oh, now she's leaving. Lovely. What the hell did you do? I hired the fixer to fix the problem like you wanted. You let her go. What happened to the plan? I made a better one. How? Just sit tight and we'll all get what we want. <laughs> the would-be Prince of Darkness. Payment due upon delivery. I'd like to examine the goods first. Your dime. Right. Let's see the face of my imposter. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. Not. How could anyone think that you were me? You know who you're messing with? I'm Lucifer freaking Morningstar. Oh, 
are you now? Well, you've certainly been a busy bee, haven't you, Lucifer? Eh? Apparently, you've started a modeling agency, pitched a web series. And I hear you've also been very active with the women. Ladies love me. What can I say? It's what they've been saying that's the trouble. It seems you're a bit of a two-pump chump. Also a crier afterwards. That happened one time. Right. Well, we can't have you running around cheapening the Lucifer brand now, can we? <laughs> what do you say, Mays? Impalement? Hmm. Why rush? I say the rap. Oh. Oh. That way we can really enjoy it. Better. Yes, much better. Every joint of every limb dislocated before it's torn off. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. I just, I just, I just wanted to get chicks and, and free drinks. Um, really, uh... My name is Justin. I'm from Sherman Oaks. <laughs> oh, Justin. The things I'm gonna do to you. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I only came here one time. And I just told some girls that I own the place, and, and that opened some doors for me, and so I just started rolling with it. How dare you abscond my name? Please don't hurt me. Please. I'm not gonna hurt you, Justin. I'm going to destroy you. <sighs> this is so hot. It's like you're punishing yourself. Oh. <laughs> Overreacting a bit. What? Go. Go on! And never sully my name again. Let's at least take a finger. We've done enough, Mace. Mm. Pleasure doing business with you, Lucifer. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Which is why I'm going to have to apologize for my friends. What friends? Ronnie Hillman, you're under arrest for kidnapping and assault. Would you mind calling my lawyer? Her number's in my back pocket. Yeah. Sure thing. I'll tell her about the kidnapping, the airtight evidence we have, the attempted murder on Deborah McCall, and then when we connect you to Allie Thornton's murder, maybe you'll get a nice injection of drugs and you can go to sleep forever. Hang on. I had nothing. I cared about Allie. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think. I think you tried to scare Deborah into confessing to Allie's murder, but Deborah didn't do it. She's got an ironclad alibi. This is my fault. Uh-oh. Why? I promised Allie I would protect her. All she ever wanted was to be an actress. She was gonna leave her mark. But you know how that goes? Endless rejection. She ran out of money. This was her first gig with me. She didn't even know she could do it. But I told her. I told her it was just like acting. Besides, he doesn't want to sleep with Ty Huntley. I thought Ty's agent hired Allie to sleep with him. He hired me for a number three special. Blackmail. Slip him a roofie, get naked, whip out a selfie stick, and voila. Why would he have any desire to blackmail his own star client? The client is all about protecting. Ty's agent told you that Deborah killed Allie. He did? Yeah. Okay, it's the agent that needs You think Joe's the killer, that he took things into his own hands, quite literally. We don't have any proof. Right, well, how painted her as crazy. It's not that hard a picture to paint in her case. Why was he so certain she'd make a good suspect? Well, maybe he found out she went to Ty's party. Maybe he knew she went to Ty's party. You are looking at the future of football. The American dream, honest, resilient, Heroic. The police tried to pin the death of that poor girl on you. But we kept it out of the press. We got you out of jail. We will always protect you and make you a bigger star than ever. <laughs> this is Ty Huntley rebranded. <laughs> Rebranded, eh? Does it come with a new scent? Free toy inside. <laughs> what do you want? Ty is free on bail. We have to talk to Ty down at the station again. 
Maybe walk him past a few reporters. Oh, hold on. What, Joe, what is this? Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Ty wouldn't hurt anybody. What about Deborah? I told you to look into her. Deborah was home with a friend the night of the murder. What? She's lying. There's no evidence placing her at the party. No one saw her. So, are you ready to face the cameras? His sponsors will love the free publicity. Tell me, what's 10% of nothing? <laughs> I saw Deborah there. Oh. I went by the party. But a work call came up, and I never made it inside. I didn't say anything before because I told my wife I was working late. When I was driving away, I saw Deborah outside Ty's window. So you admit you were there that night? Yeah. And so was Deborah. That's the proof you need, right? That's the proof we need. We have a sworn statement from Ronnie Hillman saying that you hired the victim to make a sex tape with Ty to blackmail him. I just needed to place you at the scene. See, yeah, so that's why I don't lie. It's so hard to keep track of who knows what. It's not true. I only want what's best for you, Ty. You know, I still don't understand. Why is it my own agent would want to blackmail me? Because he thought eventually you were going to leave him. Well, because I took one meeting with another agency? Get back together, <laughs> so he decided to strike first, get some leverage. If he left me, I would be ruined. Do you understand? He is my breeding, my manny. But Ali wasn't cut out for this sort of thing, was she? She didn't want to give you the video. Stupid bitch. She says she realized Ty was a good guy. She didn't want to go through with it. Her name was Ali Thornton, and you killed her for what? Greed? Ego? I didn't want to hurt her. I just wanted her phone. And... But I squeezed too hard. I'm done. Forget this. I'm out of here. Did I squeeze too hard? Too hard? How did you? What? Lucifer, what are you doing? Finally focusing my anger where it belongs. Lucifer. Your turn, detective. <laughs> he was angry. I still can't believe Joe did this. I wasn't ever gonna leave him, you know that? Definitely gonna leave him now. But you know what, you uh, you stay good to your word, Lisa. Thank you. Yes, well, now you owe me one. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Oh, baby. Oh, my God, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, oh. You are? Yes, you are crazy, baby. <laughs> but you're my crazy, you yeah. hear me? Warms the cockles, doesn't it? So, detective, detective, looks like you've solved another case because of me. I solved this case despite you. What? Uh -oh. What about the cell phone I found? That was key evidence. Evidence you almost destroyed. I got you the leverage you needed to crack Ronnie. You co-opted a sting operation for your own gain. And I solved another crime. Identity theft. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We solve this one together. Or are you two? Completely destroy the case. You can stop blaming yourself. Great. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? The whole reason you tried to prove Ty's innocence? Was to catch the true culprit. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's confused. So I decided not to punish myself. Yourself? Well, okay. a fake self. The person I'd kidnapped had decided not to beat him up. You were right. I was, um... What's the word? Displacing? Displacing my anger mm. and frustration on Lucy Phony because the right person wasn't being punished for Ali's death. And who was the right person? Well, the sleazy agent, of course. Ah, yeah. Of all the cities in the world, Lucifer, why did you decide to come to Los Angeles? Yeah. Same reason as everyone else. Uh, the weather, porn stars, <laughs> Mexican food. <laughs> mm. You know, you say, you say people are phony here, but I think people come here to reinvent themselves. And I think that's why you're here, to reinvent yourself. You're with a detective, don't you? Well, uh, uh, uh. Perfection. I told you I'm good at punishing people. Nay, I'm the best at punishing bad people. That's true. 
Didn't enjoy it when my father forced me to, but now that it's on my own terms, it's downright delightful. Yeah, well, I think you don't just enjoy punishing the bad guys. I think you're starting to like seeking justice by the good ones. Hmm. Like Ellie. <laughs> Another reason to hate LA. All this self-indulgent therapy should be a shame. You're doing it again. What? Displacing. Displacing. No, I'm not. And that's denial. That's a river in Africa. <laughs> More crimes solved by Lucifer. No. He loves punishing bad people. <laughs> but but again, now she is noticing everything. Uh, she's trying the, to do a research yeah, on what his, he's like, doing, what, because, what power he yes, has. And today he, she discovered one more thing. <laughs> he just, he's a magician. You know? He just like put his hand there and dish. And he's gone. It's I love gone. his attitude. I love his attitude. But he's changing. Now you owe me. <laughs> but he's changing. I love the bad bad side of it. I don't love when he's good. He's like a goody guy. Like I don't love that part. I love it when he's bad. And he's actually a Lucifer. I love he's that bad part. bad as ass, okay? He <laughs> is like... Monkey buttocks. But nice. It was very nice. I talk. like the way he talked. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Even your accent is fake. Like he was like, he was kind of oh, very. Oh, oh, oh my God. He was kind of very pissed off when he knows someone is in, uh, like taking his huh. identity and just ruining. You don't look the, like me, do you? But then again, the kind of the guy who was told his identity just. Like him. Like him, he but had he a don't like, like him. him. He has a plain, uh, uh, no beards, nothing. Yes, he has and kind of dark. Lucifer has a beard. Not beard, but just dots. Eyes. Okay, whatever. His eyes. eyes His and anger, anger is anger. very amazing. Ah, oh, that eyebrow when he just. I'm also waiting, like when she discovers who actually Lucifer is, and when she we when will she discover it? Because she has started her own research on Lucifer. So let's wait for that. So guys. Keep on suggesting us more videos to like, subscribe, share, comment, click on the bell icon.